What's up guys, my name is Khan, today we're back with more screwdrivers and today I've built a 4 speed transmission and it's kind of amazing and this car is now considered an S class by the devs. This is the COD Mark III. It's now an S class. I don't know why. I don't know how the classes work. Oh, we're dead. Very dead. But this car actually drives amazing. Got a little bit of downforce there. I kind of sent it too hard into that corner. I probably should have let off. But it drives really, really well. It accelerates extremely quickly. It's super stable. It does really great steering. And it has a four-speed automatic transmission because apparently you don't build manuals in this game. You only build automatics. So we're going to talk a little bit about how all this works and some math involved with it. And uh, of course, I talked to my good buddy Blue Flame because uh, Blue Flame is also playing screwdrivers and of course has spreadsheets upon spreadsheets of data. And that's how I got the gear ratios. I'd love for the devs to confirm the gear ratios, but you know, we're going to talk about all that. So let's just go into the building and take a look at how this, all this works. So the first thing we're going to look at is, I mean, the transmission is insanely huge. We have to build a lot of transmission. So these two shifter parts, and it took me a little bit to understand how these work, but basically the game picks the gear best suited automatically and I, I think it just does it based on the best ratio of gears so it would go from like the steepest gear ratio to the shallowest or shallowest to steepest depending on how you look at it right and and we can talk about that so what I did is I looked up what a proper four speed transmission would be and uh, of course I spreadsheeted it but at first I talked to my buddy and I said listen like do you know what the gear ratios are in this game the ratios are four five and eight between the different gears. So that's the math I'm using. And I know it doesn't make sense if you look at these gears, like this small gear would be a ratio of four, like a number of four. This would have a value of five and this would have a value of eight. If you're looking at like, let's say like comparing the number of teeth, let's say, right? But obviously if you look at the gears, that doesn't really make sense because the small gear compared to this medium gear, you know, you'd think it would be like a one to two or something. Uh, but but according to my friend, it's, it's four, five and eight. And I, believe them based on the spreadsheets that I've been, you know, provided. And honestly, based on the math I've done, it kind of makes sense. But anyway, so what we've got is we got two shifters, right? So a shifter is really simple. You can click it and you can see it'll shift gears and it'll show us which gear we're shifting to. Now, right off the bat, we have to preface everything by saying that in screwdrivers, the gear direction doesn't actually matter at all. Like if these gears are here and I had, you know, right here, I've got an even number of gears, so it doesn't matter. But let's say I had an odd number of gears here it really wouldn't matter. The game doesn't care. It would just fix the direction when it gets to the axle. And that's something that I kind of had to just, you know, put out of my brain and not care. But I'm pretty sure my gearbox actually works directionally anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so anyway, right off the bat, we feed off the engines. The engines go into this big gear. This would be a ratio of eight. This goes down to a ratio of four. It's a two to one. So this gets ridiculously huge and accelerates this like crazy. That powers this axle, which of course powers this shifter. You can see there's two different gears here. The ratios here are five to eight and of course four to five because this is four to four to four to five. These fours all just cancel out. You end up with four to five, five to eight and four to five, right? So that's what ends up there. This axle then just goes through and goes to this gear, which then goes to this gear. These are just really used as spacers. They don't actually do anything. You know, it's just this one passes it forward. It's a one to one ratio. It'll do nothing. That goes to this next shifter here. This shifter has a one to one ratio on it on this side. And the other gear ratio that it runs is a four to eight ratio. Again, going back the other way, as you can see. So how this all works, let's talk about math. So I looked up a real gear shifter. I looked up what a real uh, four speed gear shifter would be. It's got four gear ratios, 2.47, 1.8, 1.31 and one. That's sort of the ratios that the, this four speed performance racing gear shifter was. I mean, there's obviously there's going to be different gear ratios between different shifters. I know there's going to be people in the comments that say, actually, you should use this gear ratio for a four speed. And that's fine. I'm sure there's different ones that work. That's the numbers I was aiming for. Now, of course, knowing that we only have three gears to work with, with a ratio of four, five and eight between those, I did a bunch of math and spreadsheeting and sort of just stared at it for a while. And I came up with sort of an attempt. And my attempt was to do four different ratios and I was going to do a gear ratio of uh, four to four for the first gear. So a completely one to one ratio, which would match the one to one of the four speed they have. And then five to four on the next gear, which would be a 1.25 ratio. Their ratio is a 1.31. So it's kind of close. An eight to five on the next one, which is a 1.6. There's a 1.8. And then on the final one it would be an eight to four and a five to four, which would make it a 2.5. 
right? And that would be sort of the way to get, they have a 2.47, 2.5. So I was like, those are the four ratios that I was after. But then when I went to actually like build the gearbox, you're only using two shifters and each shifter can only go between two positions. So based on those four ratios, I'll save you guys a lot of the nonsense and the time it took me to figure all this nonsense out. You can't do that ratio. So in actuality, I end up with different ratios, but they kind of work out to be the same. So my first gear is when this is over in this position, I believe it's eight to five. Yeah, so it's in this position. This one's over in this position like this, and this one's over in this position like this. So you can see it. we're really slowing down the back axle there, and we're bringing this one over here as well to sort of, I guess, 8 to 5 is a better, I don't know, it's a better, anyway, when you work out the math, it ends up being a ratio of 3.2, which gives you a final drive ratio of 0.78. Um, so how that works is because you have this gear here that factors in, and as well, there's a gear back here to feed down to the axle. So this is a five to a four. So we actually accelerate everything coming down to the axle here, right through these gears. I know this is a lot, guys. I'm really excited about this, if you can't tell. I actually, like, this is really cool to me that you can build transmissions like this, and all the math actually works. And if you want to build a proper transmission, you need the ratios between the gears to be proper. If they're not, like, good, and your ratios aren't good, and we'll look at performance curves, I personally think my first gear could be steeper, that's going to be my argument on my performance curve before you guys get in the comments and say, Con, your performance curve sucks. I understand that. I think my first gear could be steeper. But anyway, let's keep going. So, so I got, long story short, I got a 3.2 ratio on the first gear, a 2.5 on the second gear, 1.6 on the third gear, 1.25 on the fourth gear. When you work it all out with all these different ratios, right? When you shift between the different positions. And uh, when you do all that, I get a ratio of 0.78, 1.0, 1.56, 1 and 2.0, which means in first gear, for every one rotation of these piston engines, the back axle rotates 0.78 times. So we're actually increasing the power of the engine going to the axle. Gives us great acceleration right off the bat. For our second gear, we're in a one-to-one -one ratio. So the engine is actually every one rotation of the engine. We're doing one rotation on the axle, on the final axle. On the Oh, by the way, this is only rear-wheel drive. We only have rear-wheel. Yeah, there's no... I didn't put front wheel on this. This is a rear-wheel drive, and it's a monster for some reason. So we're just leaving it that way. Uh, and then 1.56 for the third gear... Uh, which means, you know, for every one rotation of the front, this rotates 1.56 times. And then for the final gear, it's two times. So for every one rotation of this, we're rotating two times on the back axle. Um, it's kind of awesome. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Anyway, performance charts. It looks like this. Oh, oh yeah, I kind of did some stuff. Anyway, this is considered an S for some reason. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. You can see it's got 121 horsepower because it's got six engines. 188 kilometer an hour max speed that actually drops off because there's downforce you can see we've got six fins here for downforce i wanted those because the cornering sucked without it you'll also notice to our front axles wider than our rear axle it's fine it's just drift things don't worry about it um but yeah we have some aerodynamic downforce it helps a lot with the racing performance if we wanted to go for just a straight top speed run we could take those off and it would be a lot like you get that max top speed you lose like six kilometers an hour so i don't really care but this is the number that really matters 38 meters per second acceleration like the mark ii with all electric didn't even come close it was like 19 or something or like 14 or whatever it was terrible this is 38 it's insanely fast off the line with six piston engines because look like this is the initial curve and again this is what i'm saying so if you look at the stepped gears you want your gears to be exponential downwards right so they get shallower as you get to the final i'm saying a lot of really generic things that i know people are going to be like con you're using the wrong terminology i'm sorry i'm not like technically like you know, I'm not an educated gearhead, let's say. I just really like cars. Like, I worked as an engineer for a long time, but I like cars, you know? And and so I'm probably using the wrong terms here, but essentially you want your, your gears to be like an exponential curve, right? So you want a really you know, steep front gear, first gear, right? You want lots of acceleration, lots of torque on that first gear. And I think, honestly, my first gear could be even steeper than this. Um, but again, just the way the ratios worked out once I actually built this thing, I was like, all right, this is what we're dealing with. It's close enough. It's pretty good. But, you know, again, I think this could be steeper, uh, an even steeper first gear would just give you even more acceleration off the line. And then your second gear is still relatively steep off that first gear, right? You want to keep that acceleration going. And then you get into the third gear and then and then the fourth gear. And these are sort of your top speed gears, right? You want to, you're ramping down your power, but you're, you're increasing because you have momentum with the car, right? So you don't need as much power to keep the car going. Anyway, look, let's go drive this stupid thing. I don't know how it's going to go. I haven't tried it in any contests. Like I said, I'm just really excited that I made a transmission that works. Uh, it's the Mark III. This took me like maybe an hour. I'm really, it's really cool, you guys. It's it's neat. Do some math. I mean, if you look up the four speeds, it's awesome. I also asked the devs because apparently the devs like they messaged me. Oh yeah, I forgot. They apparently messaged me and gave me a key for the premium content. I didn't even activate it yet. Uh, so thank you so much for that. I have to activate the premium content key 
But then I messaged them back and said, hey, what are the gear ratios? <laughs> so I don't know how my relationship with the devs is going to go in the future, but hopefully they reply and give me the gear ratios because I'd love to know what they actually are. Um, or if you guys know in the comments down below. Anyway, let's go do some challenges. Yeah, this is an S class. I, again, I don't understand how the classes work. I don't know if they're horsepower. Maybe they are horsepower. This is 120. It is the highest horsepower thing I've made. No, that's not true. That's not true, actually. That is 100% not true because watch this. Check this out. I can delete two of these engines, right? And this is still an S-Class. It's 81 horsepower. It's still considered an S-Class. Because it literally, even with two engines deleted, will lose a little bit of top speed. But it'll still drive like a monster. Actually, no. We don't even lose top speed. We literally just lose acceleration. Yeah, our top speed stays the same. We just lose our acceleration. So, it still drives like a monster. So, like I said, I don't know I don't know why this is considered S-Class. Honestly, I could put another engine, too. Um, just to really... Yeah, just to really... I'm really happy with this build, you guys. I spent so long... I could put another engine right there. The weight would be slightly offset, but... I could buy one. I could buy one. Hmm... Yeah, so anyway, I don't understand how the class system works, but, uh, you know, we'll figure it out at some point in time. I guess they just evaluate the performance of your vehicle and say, you know what, that car is going to drive well, so it must be a high class. Anyway, let's uh, try what we were doing here. Uh, we did the long straight acceleration. It was bad before. We got a bronze. What do we need for a gold? I don't know. Let's just try it. We only do like 188, though, so I'm worried. We're going to accelerate quick, but we don't go that fast. We need an 18 for a silver. Yeah, this thing accelerates like a monster off the line. But I don't think we're going to have the top speed. Like, I think I have to slap a million engines on this to get going. I don't know. That's a 16.2. Okay, that's better than silver. What's gold? Gold's a 15.5. Okay, we're slapping another engine on it. I might need a higher top speed, honestly. Because I'm. I think I'm capping out. Well, now we have another engine, so I don't know. This is going to be faster acceleration. Oh my god, now it sounds like an LS engine. Like, what the heck happened? It just went to, like, a JZ engine somehow? Oh, you know what? I need to get rid of my downforce. If I don't beat this. Yeah, I just need... Hold on, hold on. I just... I'm, I'm an idiot. I forgot. I have downforce. What am I doing? Yeah, no, 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 no. Bye, bye. By see ya. Don't need that. Yeah, we'll put that on. That's racing spec stuff. All right, I have a plan. We're just going to take this big gear here and just drive it straight to the axle because the game doesn't care. So we can delete all this. Delete that. Delete this. Delete that. We can extend that axle out one. Uh, like this. Oh, no. Hello. There we go. Like that. And then we can go like this. And that's not going to mesh, but we can put another axle. Oh, I do need that thing back. Whoops. So we can do this and put a little block here and then grab a little beam like so. And then we need another axle. Uh, three long axle. Perfect. And then we put a connector on that. And then we do another axle. It's probably four long. Perfect. And then we put a little idler here. There we go. All right. So now we've increased the rear axle ratio. Instead of a five to four, we're now to an eight to four. So our whole top speed should just go, oh god, oh god, see our acceleration, like our top speed goes to 300 kilometers an hour now, but the acceleration goes down like crazy, but now like, you know, if we want to go 300 kilometers an hour, we can. It's because you, you just, you, oh god, okay, I mean, we'll try this, I don't think this is going to work, I think honestly, I think it's going to be a problem, I think it's not going to be enough acceleration now, we might have to change the front ratio too. First gear is just a long hundred kilometer an hour. No, but actually, this might be amazing. I lied. I might. I might have lied. This might be actually exactly. Well, holy cow! This is so fast. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Just 271 kilometer an hour. No big deal. Oh my god. <laughs> Do I put down force on this and try this as racing? We're never gonna get out of first gear. We're gonna be stuck in first gear the whole time. No. I, for racing. For racing, I think we need that. We need to. We need to go back to the old spec. That is insane. Oh my. God. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me rename this. Let me rename this. This is the the let's just let's just call this dash 300 kph version, right? That's the 300 kph version. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna duplicate this, and then I'm gonna go back and make the original Mark III spec. All right, here we go. It's racing time. Mark III. Silver's a 310. I'm looking for gold though. 
That green car accelerates quick. Oh, 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 gotta break, gotta break, gotta break a lot, gotta break a lot. I just kind of actually powered through that to not hit the bleachers. Okay, let's calm down, Mr. Green Car. I don't really remember this course too well. Okay, I remember that it's got it's got some hills, that's right. This goes left and then okay, here we go. Never mind, I'm getting it. I'm remembering. The memory's coming back. My gears sound like, well, I mean, I guess they sound like linear gears is really, oh god, rear wheel drive, hello. Sometimes if you put the power down and uh, aren't straight, problems happen. We gotta just go slow, nice. Oh my god, the cliff, the cliff, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, I don't know how you, like, you have to build a straight line car. The 300 kilometer hour car here would just be way too quick. You'd be just, we'd be stuck in first gear. Like, we haven't even gotten above, like, 100 kilometer an hour. Let's not, let's not die. Okay, or die. That's cool. Let's, let's, yeah, oh, well, that makes sense. At least this thing accelerates, it accelerates like mad. It's so good. I love the gear shifting in this game. I kind of wish I could have built a manual, though. I understand it's an automatic. The game just goes, hey, like, we'll figure out the best ratios based on how you positioned all the gears and the shifters. And that makes sense. That works great. It actually works really well for, like, this kind of a thing. Um, but it would be really cool if I had a manual mode where I could just be like, yeah, let me make it manual and let me set, like, you know, a, a shift up, shift down button, for example. Or let me set a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 button if I want to. And then let me pick the shifter positions for each gear, you know? Even if my gears are wrong, who cares? Just let the player make the mistake, you know? Because, like, I could have a shifter position that's, like, like I'll figure it out. Like, someone will figure it out, you know what I mean? But it would be cool if I could be like, no, for gear one, I want the shifters in this position. For gear two, I want them in this position. You know, so on and so forth. And then just, that would, that would be, like, the quote-unquote manual version. Be kind of cool, I because I'd love to make a shifter car in this where it's, like, gear shifting. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The automatic is pretty good. Um, like it seems, it seems like it does a reasonable job of keeping me in the right gear. Great, no, that's, that's, that's good. God dang, man, I can't survive this jump. I need maybe the off-road suspension is the problem, but... I like the street suspension because it keeps it, like, nice and low and, and sort of, you know, prevents it from rolling through the corners, like, really stable. What was that, that was a, what was that time, 248? Is that a gold? <laughs> Okay, we still got gold. Oof, that was close. This, like, multiple crashes. If I had survived those jumps, like, you gotta survive those jumps to get a really good time. Alright, we got another long jump. Tower dive. Let's try that. Let's see if this one can even do it. Am I allowed to back up? I'll probably back up a little bit, right? Oh my god, gold is... Oh wait, I have downforce on. I'm an idiot. I wonder if you generate upforce, though, if you turn downforce wings upside down. Like, does that actually do anything? Is that worse? It was slightly better. Alright, we've got upforce wings now. I don't know if that actually is gonna do anything or not, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. I'm also gonna back up a little bit. I think maybe, like, the other option is having enough downforce to make this corner at a higher speed, but... Well, that makes it so much worse. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to this at some point in time, and I think I have to custom build something that actually can, you know, fly. an interesting I don't understand why this ghost race like am I am I way too quick like I don't understand am I am I just crushing them this is a weird it's like a figure eight but like seems like they're all really slow oh god I mean I guess I'm supposed to turn really aggressively but I mean honestly I just kind of keep in for this isn't even really a figure eight there's some weird stuff going on here okay I mean, I do feel really large on this track, but, you know, I think I'm... Yep, yeah, nope, let's go. 
Oh, great. No. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Thank you. This car is awesome. Like, honestly, it's, I'm so glad the transmission works the way it does. It's, it's really, really great. Really cool. That it just, if you get the ratios right, it works. Uh, a little bit of overshooting. Hello? I'm about to lap somebody, apparently. Who's got some sort of a weird decoration thing going on on their car. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna lap you. Okay, bye. Thank you. Oh, no, no. Sorry, missed. Yep, yeah, gonna just go... There we go. Just a little reverse action. No big deal. Oh, I got unlapped. That sucks. That sucks. He unlapped him, so I had to get lapped again. All right, was that enough for gold, though, is the question. I feel like it might have been. 151? Yeah. Nice. This car is a great race car. It just can't do the acceleration and jumps without modification. I got to figure out what to do to modify it, though. I mean, I guess I could try the 300 km hour car once on the jump. I didn't really do that. Oh, it works like a charm. Oh. Okay. Okay, so all you need is the 300 km an hour version for for all the for all your, you know, gold jumping needs. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Moving on. All right, there's only really like a couple things left and then to get to fight this guy, uh Mountain Trail Escapade got to destroy somebody. He's got a lot of armor and lo oh, extra wheels in the middle. That's cool. And then climb up the hill, which is like a destination race, which is cool. Uh, let's try destroying this guy first. I feel like this might be easy. Last time I had to destroy somebody, I just kind of like bullied them in the very beginning. I feel like if we're faster than him, that's just gonna work. Yeah, just, okay. Okay, he's interesting. Can't I just, I just gotta get in front of him. Oh, okay, he runs me over. Okay, okay, I might need some actual armor plating on this one. Nope, no I don't. I lied. Don't need armor plating at all. Yeah, good luck. Let me know how you're going to get further to the race, bro. Yeah, yeah, let me know. Those are nice engines, though. Yeah, I just I just carried you off the racetrack. I don't think you have the power to get back up there. I really, I really don't. I really, I really don't. Oh, my God. Do I have to... What do I have to do here? Do I, I have to freeze you somehow? You can't get up that hill, dude. Like, you're, <laughs> you're done. You're done. I just, I just, I just beat the game. I, just, I think I just have to get you stuck. I think that's I think that's all I have to do. If you're not moving, I think I win. Oh my god. No, just don't move, dude. There we go. Just don't move. Just you're out. You're out. Yeah. Perfect. Alright. In today's episode of How to Cheese the Destroying Challenges with Khan, knock this guy off the cliff, and then you don't have to break anything. Works quite well. Alright, so the last thing is climb up the hill. And then it's we just gotta get to that that end point. Okay. I'm already slower than bronze, thanks. I feel like you have to do this without dying to get gold. But I also feel like I probably could put off-road suspension on this car. And this would be a lot easier. Because I think the street suspension is just a little too low for this. Although, it seems like it does pretty well. Okay, 39.5. That might be gold. Was gold a 40? 42! Let's go! Alright, I feel like we're going to shred this monarch. Seems like you always shred the monarchs if you get gold. Wow, okay, that, it makes sense. Now that I say it out loud, it makes sense. Because if you get bronze, you still need to be able to play the monarch, right? Like, the, the, the devs want you to be able to play the career even if you're not getting gold and everything. You know, they don't want to basically be like, screw you, you didn't get gold, now you can't advance. So the monarch has to be at, like, a bronze level then. Which is interesting. So you're just going to crush it if you can do gold times. Okay, there.
Love this engine noise. The gears are very loud, but I mean, they are linear, so that makes sense. Oh, hello, 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 please, please, please. Doesn't want to turn, doesn't want to, doesn't want to turn at all. Doesn't want to turn, we're just bouncing down the hill. This is where we might need off-road suspension instead of street suspension. But I wanted the vehicle to be low to the ground so that it could go, not go fast, but like, you know, um, not uh, not be top, like, you know, top whatever, uh, top heavy, not top heavy. You know the word I'm looking for. Yeah, top heavy. I don't know. High center of gravity. I guess it's kind of top heavy. But yeah, I didn't want a high CG was the big thing. Okay, that is a very hairpinny hairpin. We're not even on like a course anymore. This is just this is just ridiculous. Okay, hello, hello. Okay, we're just gonna. Can we drive on like a road for maybe more than five seconds? be great. I'd love to I'd love to keep on this road for a bit. It's a very inconvenient portrait time, I'm not gonna lie. The monarch portrait comes up right when I need to look right to see the checkpoint. There we go. I will say, there is a difference. You can feel the difference between a rear-wheel drive car and, a front, and an all-wheel drive car. Um, my Mark 1 and Mark 2 were all-wheel drive. This is a rear-wheel drive. And uh, I might do another all-wheel drive again. But the rear-wheel drive, you can feel... You can feel like how it wants to understeer because the front doesn't pull under throttle. So if you're giving it throttle, it, it understeers. Um, but then if you're in a corner and you give it throttle, it, it like oversteers because the back end just wants to slide out. So you got to kind of like watch yourself in the corners. But it is a really cool car. It drives really, really well. Despite the gears being really loud. Oh, that's right, left. There we go, perfect. Let's just full send this. Okay, we lost a wheel, but just get this checkpoint. That's all that matters. There, actually, you know what? That's even better. There we go. Oh, that's right, it goes left. Oh, we gotta go across that. Okay. Okay, 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 this might be a problem. This might be a huge problem. I was only 26 seconds up. It wasn't like a huge window. More than enough to do that though. It's interesting that the car wants to flip on its back. The downforce might need to be like more front forward. Might have too much rear downforce. Might need to put like the small ones. Yeah, cause, oh, that's right, because I made it symmetrical now. Before I had only one in the back and two in the front. So I did have more downforce in the front now. So yeah, I probably get too much rear downforce. I need to make more in the, like, just take off the big ones in the rear and put just the small ones, I think. It'll be a better performing car. But I also, I definitely want to merge the two versions. I want to I wanna take this car and put the, the gearbox edition on the back with another gearbox that gives you both the 300 kilometer hour version. It just becomes an eight speed. And it just goes hilarious because in 8 speed with, you know, a bunch of engines, it'll just ramp through the gears like crazy. And just be way too fast. Okay, we're... Braking, braking is... I, I want it, you know what? I want it to be an 8 speed all-wheel drive. Like, that's really, that's really where it's at. Because the braking right now sucks too. Because the braking is, I think, only on like... I don't know if it's only on the rears. Maybe it's on the fronts too. I got a 419 to beat the Monarch. <laughs> yep, perfect. Thank you. Excellent. I don't. I don't want your car, dude. I like my car better. Your car lost in a race. I like your tires though. I might take your tires. And those motors. Those electrics look good. But honestly, I'm kind of impartial to the gas now. Oh, you've got a hybrid. That's cute. I don't know. Like the gas, the the ramping through the gears, like is so good. I just, I just need to make it an 8-speed. I'll take your take your chassis. Thank you for your stepper motor. Yeah, I, I don't want to play the introduction. I, I really don't. Because if I play the introduction, I got to watch it. I'm just going to skip that. I'm going to buy them. And I'm going to make variable downforce. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Obviously, this car is it's amazing. Like I love the gear shifting in this game. It's so good that it works. It follows some ratios. I know the episode was a bit long. Talking about a lot of math. I get excited about things that work, you know, and, and like math and stuff and like gears and things and like, you know, math and gears. That's like the best. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time. Yeah, if this thing was all wheel drive, 
with variable downforce and an 8-speed would be legendary. 